What's up everybody, it's Meech. And today on the radar, we are going to be talking about water. We're gonna be doing water testing and alkaline and why that's important. Now, um, just to be brief, because I wanna get right into this test and test out these different waters. Um, you hear a lot about al alkaline and alkaline water. And we all drink these different waters, be it Poland Spring, Essentia, um, Avion, Fiji, just whatever. We all drink different waters and depending on you know, where we are, a lot of us drink, uh, some of us still drink tap water. A lot of us have filters in our houses where we, you know, filtered water. And the, the significance of alkaline water, if you don't know, is it is supposed to, the, the more alkaline your body is, the, the less disease and cancer can grow. The more oxygen is in your body, the more healthier your body is, disease can't grow there. So if you're, if you're putting things in your body that's acidic, that's not alkaline, then that acid builds up in your body that, that you know, it, it's a breeding ground for, for disease, basically. So um, some of us care, some of us don't. I've been trying all these different waters for years, not even thinking about what's alkaline, just about what's more um, cleaner and what tastes better. And, you know, I, I was always thinking about fluoride. And, and um, if you don't know about fluoride, I'll, I'll sp I, I just put up a video, but I'm going to do another in-depth video on that. But um, there's all these things we have to consider and worry about that's in our water. Um, fluorides, different contaminants, pesticides, all this, this stuff. And it gets, it gets annoying, it gets stressful. And most of us are just thirsty, we want something to drink. <laughs> but um, I try you know, my best recently to find waters that does not have fluoride in it and it, that are alkaline. So I went and did this alkaline test with the majority of the stuff that I drink or, or that's around me. So I currently drink Essentia water, and if you're wondering why it's green, no, it is not contaminated. I have um, chlorophyll in it. I will um, leave. I will put the link here for that video to let you guys know what chlor chlorophyll, chlorophyll is, and also in the description I will link the video so you guys can check that out. But this is not contaminated water. This is good. Essentia is supposed to be um, what they say is 9.5 or higher, meaning it is alkaline water. Um, so I wanted to test that out and see if it was actually real. I wanted to see, I have a, a, a test kit. Now the blue is supposed to be alkaline in between is decent on the way to being alkaline and yellow is obviously acidic and that's not good for your body. That's not good. That's not what you want in your body. So, um, let's just get into the test. I'm going to not do too much talking. Let's just show the different ones. I'm going to be testing Fiji, Poland Spring, filtered water, tap water. I'm going to be doing distilled water. And what's the other one over there? Smart water. Because I was drinking a lot of smart water before I got on to Essentia. And I thought, I thought the smart water was the best. But let's find out which one really is the best. So we're going to start with tap water being that most people don't drink tap water. And we already know it's not good. It has chlorine and all this other stuff. But is it acidic? Is it alkaline? So I have this test kit and I'm gonna add some, some drops into each one. And um, then we're gonna do the Brita. So we're gonna start with those first because most people just take the tap water, put it in the filter, and you think it's good. You think it's not contaminated. So let's find out. So as you can see, as this is going, the, the tap water is surprisingly alkaline it's not you know great i would say it's about a 7.2 maybe a little bit higher and as you can see the the brita is not really good at all it's about a 6.4 that's not good now we go to the poland spring which i stopped drinking a long time ago and I actually thought was terrible as far as um as far as being alkaline but it definitely has fluoride in it which you can see it's it's not bad actually um, the Fiji, which is a lot of people think that water is great, it's actually not bad. It's a little bit better than the Poland Spring. Now, Smart Water, which is very popular right now, let's see what it is. Smart Water is very, very yellow. It's not alkaline at all. It's very acidic. Yellow means acidic, once again, people. Now, we're going to do Essentia and Distilled. A lot of people drink distilled water. Not a lot of people, but some people. I know a few people that drink distilled water. Now, the Essentia is the bluest. It is the most alkaline, which, as you can see, the distilled water is not. 
The distilled water surprisingly is, is more acidic than the regular uh, Poland Spring. So it just shows you, you know, a lot of these waters, um, essentially is clearly the better, the better one. And they actually advertise it as being 9.5. As you can see, I'm not sure if it's actually 9.5 based off of my chart, but as you can see, it's clearly the bluest and it's pretty good. So I would rate the distilled and the, the surprisingly the filtered water is worse. So what hap with me, what happens is you take the same tap water and you put it into the, fil the Brita filter and then it actually strips it down and makes it less alkaline. That's um, surprising course you can see the distilled water is very acidic the essentia is alkaline so the, the essentia wins the essentia is a little bit more pricey for those that you know know or don't know but i would say as far as that it's worth it so as you can see the essentia wins and um it's a little bit pricey like i was saying so some people may not want to go for that it's very hard to really know which one to drink because there's all these other things that you can say as far as all right these are alkaline and acidic so you figure that out and then you say okay which one you know I, i'm gonna go with the alkaline one which is great but then a lot of these waters still have uh, fluoride in it so the main things you have to know about your water is is it alkaline does it have fluoride in it does it um another thing that i picked up recently which i'm going to do a video pretty soon it's a water tester so this tests the the parts per million of contaminants in your water so this is going to be very interesting because according to the chart, um, parts per million, which can be anything from rust, uh, sediment, uh, anything, anything that is in that water that's not supposed to be there, any type of pesticides and all types of nonsense. Um, so it goes from zero, which is the ideal, to the EPA's max, which is 500 parts per, uh, per million, which is not good. Um, so we're going to be testing this out. Also, I picked up an electrolyzer. Some of you guys may have seen this or heard about it. I've seen videos online, so I wanted to try it out for myself because supposedly what this does is it breaks up and it separates, I should say. It separates the contaminants in the water. So anything that's hard in the water, it separates it. So you'll be able to see all of the minerals in the in the, in the Anything that's solid that's actually um, in that water, this will bring it out of it, and you'll be able to see how contaminated your water really is. The only thing I haven't read, I just got this a few days ago, but I've been doing a little bit of additional research, and I'm not sure if these things actually work the way they're supposed to. So I want to do a little bit more um, testing on, on the background of this before I actually use it, because... I'm not sure about this, but these are the things I just want you guys to consider and think about as far as the different waters that you're drinking. Do some additional research, of course. Don't just rely on, you know, anything that I, that you see or I tell you. Do some deeper research and just, just think more of what you're putting in your body. This is um, a lot of things that I'm into and I'm encouraging you guys to pay more attention to as far as everything that you put in your body, whether the things that you're drinking, the things that you're eating. The, the health care products that you use, the soaps, the, the lotions, all of that stuff. Because a lot of these things have stuff in it that's not good for you and it's seeping into your body and in the long run it's doing you harm. So, you know, just just think about it. Do some research. Let me know what you think. Comments, um, you know, anything, any feedback, anything I might have missed, anything you think I might have got wrong. Definitely leave it in the comments section and um, please hit that like button. Till next time. Stay tuned. Check out the other videos, links, any links to anything. <laughs> I'm screwing up the closing of this video because I'm thinking too much. I'm trying to make sure. I, listen, tune in next time to see what else pops up on the radar. Comments in the description. Let me know what's going on, people. Salute. <laughs>